Oh, it's currently Friday for us. You guys will see this later, and uh, we have to descend into the depths. Morning, morning. It's a kind of a brisk morning. It's across the street here. My first route to Hilversum was quite refreshing. It got walked past a, a field that looked like it had been recently leveled. I don't want to say plowed because it was very flat. <laughs> the countryside on the way out there looks really nice. A lot of horses, a lot of sheep, a lot of canals. Like, I, I get it, Amsterdam has a lot of canals. I keep forgetting how much the Netherlands has canals. Yeah. And you haven't been outside the no, cities. I, I just, I hear people talk about it and I see it sometimes on images, but. Yeah, when we head to uh, Dusseldorf tomorrow, <laughs> that'll, uh, that will be, you, you'll, you'll see the Dutch countryside, like I saw when I got here. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll see just tiny, tiny, like canals, like smaller than that one, half, quarter the size of the one that's over there. We have some deathly large seagulls around here, I'm just telling you. That, that's actually a normal size. <laughs> okay. That's also a dirty seagull. I think that's it. No, it's a, it's a different kind. It's, uh, it's, it still is a sea bird of sorts, but I'm not sure which one so i don't think i'm gonna the benefit is i had to wait for the chip card app to update because trains and stuff and buses pulling into stations and they just have to take a while to update so it took me about 10.9 euros to get out to leiden and then another 10.9 to get back because i took pretty much because they measure everything on distance not necessarily the route you take <laughs> just so get like straight line distance I guess oh. because I went from here to Amstel from Amstel well I went from Mauterport through Amstel to Dalvendrecht got off Dalvendrecht got on the one that goes to ski pole all the way out to Leiden that's how I got there on the way back I took everything what I would consider the western side going up through Slaughterdyke and into Central, and then I stayed on the same train from Central to Mauterport. And it cost me the exact same amount. So, that means that it checked in from Mauterport and Leiden Central. Ish. I mean, there was a bus in there too, but. Okay. So, this was roughly the same route because there's. But it's drastically shorter. It costs me 10.8 euros. Both ways. Round trip. Round trip. It was like <clears throat> 540. And I was like, well, from a financial standpoint, it might be cheaper to go with Hilversum. Just because it's only, even though it's roughly the same time out there. <laughs> yeah. It's half the price. This is your last day of training. Yep. How's I'll that still feel? Occasionally be up late just to help out with a report or something. But you'll be at home. Well, yeah. Technically, you could even train from home now because we got fast internet. Yeah. I'm saying, like, you could have switched over I this week. Have. Yeah. But we know me and working from home. Well, that too. But with, with you would have had someone on the other end of the line to keep you. Yeah. I love the Dutch. They start, they turn around and they like, they, they'll walk backwards and like glare at vlogging. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not sure if they were glaring at your vlogging or your Vo oh, volume. My, my volume, might've been my volume. But yeah, at Hilversum, the roads, the roads were this. And so I thought I'd bring up a lasting little remark about the bus drivers in Amsterdam and 
the Netherlands at large, because out in Hillersum they were taking some mighty tight turns with a bus that's an accordion bus. And you've taken some more buses around here, and even so, it's just like, they'll take turns, you're like, uh, at speed, you're like, uh. Yeah. So, yeah. I've seen occasional, like, just watching the buses go by, I would swear that their wheels on the outside or inside of the turn are going to come off the ground. They're just going that fast and that tight. The of outside turn. of the turn. No, you're right, the inside, because they'll lean. Yeah. Out. Gotcha. Sin. But, yeah, it's... I didn't know buses could make that tight of a turn. Because they don't. Well, we don't really have accordion ones in Portland. They do up yeah. in Seattle. Um, I've seen a couple newer ones in Salem, but they never had them when I was down there in Salem. We always have to deal with basically giant two-by-fours of buses. I just think it's a board you have to maneuver. It yeah. doesn't bend in any way. Anyway. But, yeah. They were, dr they were driving around on, like cobblestone brick paths and taking turns that were f way tight. I mean, right back there is a turn that I don't think a bus should be able to take. I don't know if you, I will have to show it to you guys some other time, but it is, it is not a friendly turn. It is a single tiny little lane in between a curb and a median. Yeah, it's, Hats off to you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Bye. Well, for today's extra content, or whatever, I don't know. I'm down here at the Reichs Museum. I'm gonna go test out to see how tall that hill is. Because I'm sick and tired of guessing, so I'm just gonna walk up it and figure it out. All right, that's that hill. It's really just inclined grass. Why don't we go walk up and figure it out? Apparently that's the modern art museum because apparently I can't read. And Hussein had to tell me. Let's go march up this, see if it's a decent hill. All right. I'm kind of, there's the actual top, but there's someone sitting over there. So I did kind of a little jog up it. That straight line right there, kind of hard to tell right here yeah so this is not I might have to turn my Wi-Fi off it's gathering every free Wi-Fi around here to be fair that's great but I have like there's like they're all like one or two bars low this is a nice central station and modern art stuff but yeah that's the end of the vlog tomorrow Dusseldorf so we're probably not gonna go and we're not going to start vlogging until like later when we're leaving on the train and stuff. The train. Het train? It's one thing. Whatever. It works. I just need my cleats and, you know, like the actual ability to try and not have everybody lounging around.